<sighs> I've got a problem with the GPU. What we have here is the ROG Strix from Asus, and it's the 1060 uh, 6 gig model, and this was going in my Cyberpunk 2077 build, which I have had so many problems with that it actually deserves its own video. However, today we're going to be dealing with this issue here. So I bought this card used from a seller with a good rating, and when I plugged it in, this is what was happening. I tried it on a couple different computers. Uh, made sure that the drivers were all up to date, but this issue was still happening. So I contacted the seller and he said that, you know, this was not an issue when he tested it and boxed it up and sent it to me. And frankly, I believe him because I've had issues with technology before where someone else was using it. Um, and then when I got it back, it wasn't working. For instance, um, my brother's roommate had borrowed an external hard drive of mine. Uh, to watch videos, he had it laying on his bed and it essentially cooked it. So when he stopped watching videos, it was working fine. When I tried to plug it in, it wasn't working at all. So I've had issues where tech is working one minute and not working another. I saw a couple videos online that said that the fiber optic cables, because they run so close to the heatsink, actually get cooked. And so that's the actual reason why they're not carrying out all the way that they should. So. I'm going to try something new and replace those. With the GPU safely removed from the computer, it's time to take the shroud off. There are, I believe, six screws. One, two, three. And then inside here, just behind the fans, four, five, and six. I'm fairly certain you all know how a screwdriver works, so we're going to jump ahead to where this is off. All right, with the shroud off, we see the two fiber optic cables running this way from the LED lights all the way down. Um, from here, supposedly it should be kind of simple, uh, taking these out, cutting the new ones to size, and putting them back in. I do want to note that there are two different types of screws. One, the ones that go behind the fans are considerably shorter than the other ones that go in through the side of the shroud, so just keep that in mind. And also, you will need a smaller than standard screwdriver uh, to take those out, so you'll need some sort of iFixit knockoff like I do, or you could probably get away with a screwdriver that is in a glasses repair kit. I use the tip of my screwdriver to take this end out here, and there are clips that just hold it as it feeds down the card. I'm going to do that in both ends to remove it. So here we have the new fiber optic cable. Um, I was informed that these are supposed to be four millimeter, but I'm American, I don't even know what that means. And I went on eBay and tried to find some new fiber optic cables. Uh, there was only one seller that was selling them from the US, everything else was from China, which is fine, but I didn't want to wait for the shipping. Um, they didn't have the four millimeter. I ended up buying five millimeter and three millimeter. So hopefully one of those works. I'm actually going to go with the five millimeter first. It looks like it actually fits through these brackets here. Uh, so I'm going to cut it to size and give it a shot. I did learn while I was researching this that there's two types of fiber optic cables. Uh, there's one that sends light from one end down to the other end. And then there's another type that actually disperses it along the cable as it goes. Uh, we are definitely using the latter so that the RGB travels through the card. Um, anything other than that, I don't know because this is brand new for me. All right, with our new fiber optic cables cut, I'm going to try to feed them through these brackets here. Um, I'm going to try to insert them into each end here and here, and then kind of wind it through and see how that works. Results may vary. All right, cable has been replaced. Card is back in. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my goodness, it actually worked. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Check that out. Oh, that is so cool. I'm extremely happy, but also still kind of can't believe that it actually panned out. Oh, that's sick. I'm so happy right now. And that is how we do that. Um, if you had the same issue, I hope this helped you. It really helped me. Is it fading out? Where is it? Okay, there's the color. Woo. All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Hope this helps. We'll catch you later. Bye.